Hello guys, you guys are welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about the Dinon Villas fissure. And um, the Dinon Villas fissure is like uh, basically the lower part of the uh, part of the glass, okay? And the Dinon Villas fissure, um, Dinon Villas fissure separates uh, the bladder in female in males. And it, it separates the, the uterus in females, okay, from the rectum. Okay, so the Dinon Villas fissure is this red outline here. All right, so it's just this fissure that separates these structures. Okay, because coming together, all these structures won't be nice, so there needs to be a boundary between them. And the Dinon Villas fissure is just like the boundary between them. Okay, so the Dinon Villas fissure, also known as a rectoprostatic fascia, it is a membranous partition located at the lowest part of the rectal vesical pouch that's in males. Or the rectal uterine pouch in females but these two pouches are together called the pouch of Douglas okay so at the lowest part of these pouches we have the denon villas fissure also known as the rectal prostatic fissure okay so it serves as a barrier separating the prostate and urinary bladder from the rectum okay prostate Basically, this note was actually made for the male specimen, but I'm, con 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 uh, I'm converging everything, all right? So, also talking about the female specimen, okay? So, um, if in the male is, so is separating the prostate and the urinary bladder from the rectum, in females, uh, we have uh, the uterus. I know that the females don't have the prostate, okay? So, in females, we have the uterus, okay? The non villous fascia separates uterus from the rectum too okay so this fascia consists of a single fibromuscular structure with several layers that are fused together effectively covering the seminal vesicles interestingly it corresponds to the rectal vaginal fascia in females okay so just the same fascia but in males is called the rectal prostatic fascia all right, in females, it is called the rectal vaginal fascia. Okay, so this is it, and um, this is a rectal vesical pouch. In males, again, in females, it's called rectal uterine pouch. So the lower end of this, all right, up to this, all right, separating the bladder, coming down, separating the prostate gland, and in females, you know that the uterus is up here, separating the uterus, okay, from the rectum. Is actually what we call the denon villas fascia. So, in the context of prostate cancer, uh, denon villas fascia acts as a robust layer that inhibits the posterior spread of prostate adenocarcinoma. So, as a result, rectal invasion is less common compared to invasion of other contiguous structures. Okay. So remember that this anatomical feature plays a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the pelvic region. Okay, so it inhibits the spread of cancer downward. All right, because it is robust. Okay, it is strong, and cancer will not penetrate it to, to, to spread downward. Okay, so that's the denon villa fascia, also known as the rectal prostatic fascia, also known as the rectal vagina fascia. Okay, so that's it. Quick lecture and see you guys in the next one right now.